Hey guys, I'm Sahil from Chronostick. Now, some people are having problems with updating their Moto G 2014, specifically the version XT1068, to the latest OTA, that's 5.0.2. And some people even got the OTA update notification, and when they clicked on it, it suddenly disappeared or something like that happened. But, or even if it did not happen, some people have not got it till now. So, if you want to update your phone, there's one more way that you can do, and it's doing it via the manual method. And if you think this is going to harm your phone or something like that, no, it's not like that. It's a very safe method. You just need to download the official OTA update file for your version you have. Like, I have one XT1068, so I'll be downloading the file I require for my phone. Let's just go to the XDA thread first. Now, this is the XDA thread, and there are two links. I'll just go and download one from Mega. I have already downloaded the file, so I'll just go ahead and copy to my phone. Now, you need to power off your phone. Now, first thing you need to do is go into the fastboot mode for that you need to have your phone switched off first then you have to press the power and the volume down button together and leave them together after that you'll enter the fast boot mode now you have to press the volume down key so you can go to the recovery option then you have to press the volume up key and it will select the recovery option once the recovery option is selected you see that the phone goes into a state of an android showing some error sort of logo now what you need to do here is press the volume up button and tap the power button and after two or three taps you'll see this Android system recovery. This is the basic recovery that comes with the Android. Now you need to go and scroll down to apply update from SD card and press the power button to select it. And now you need to go down and search for the file that you downloaded. Mine is in download folder. And so I'll just go ahead and search for it. And after you find the file, just press the power button and the installation process will start. This process will take a lot of time. It can take anywhere from five, seven to 10, 15 minutes. I've just speeded up this part of the process. So don't expect your phone to work very fast. It'll take the first time as it is, as it is installing. Now let's see. Yeah, so install from SD card is complete. There is the reboot option. Just press the power button and the phone will reboot. So now this is the first boot of the lollipop that we just installed. It is going to take some time on the boot animation. It took me five to seven minutes. So I'm just speeding this part. Just have some patience and don't think that your phone bricked or something like that. It's perfectly fine. And then there's the Android is upgrading part and it will also take some time. It will take around five to 10 minutes roughly. The whole process is somewhere between 20 to 25 minutes long. So yeah, I guess that's a pretty long process. So let's, so you can just leave your phone for some time and come afterwards and it will be installed. Everything will be working. So the apps are starting upgrading contact database finish boot and that is the part <laughs> all your settings and everything that you already had on your phone will remain intact nothing will go away all your contacts your applications even your settings will remain like that your wi-fi passwords bluetooth pairing devices everything will remain where it was nothing will change or get deleted or something like that so this is one of the best processes that you can go through if your phone is not updated yet now let's go and see what version it is now this is the lollipop 5.0.2 version moto g did not get a 5.0 or 5.1 they directly skipped to 5.0.2 and this is the easter egg i was never really good at these things and we can pretty much see the system version is 22.2 1.28 titan retail sds this is the retail version and this is not a carrier version so that is why i have the retail version you need to search yours you can do it on xda the build number is lxb 22.46-28 that's it that's all of the information i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you will enjoy the lollipop there are some lags for now and i think there will be an update soon and it will fix everything that is probably happening wrong or not at par at the moment i hope this tutorial helped you thank you for watching my video so if you like my video hit the thumbs up button below and share the video with anyone whom you think it might benefit you can even follow me on twitter I'll leave my Twitter handle below and subscribe to my channel to get updates regularly. This is Kronostek signing out. Thank you.